historically, rhetoric has been um, studying the art of persuasion, so understanding how to be persuasive to particular audiences. Um, in contemporary settings, we tend to think about it more generally as um, the study of how to be um, persuasive or effective or powerful um, with language. And we understand language to mean lots of things, not just words, but also sound and video, um, image. Um, so the rhetorical study of how to communicate effectively um, has exploded as um, reasons and situations for using rhetoric have exploded and expanded, and the technologies that we can use to communicate have changed. In the digital writing part of both our teaching and our research, we're taking something that at one time was unusual and now has become commonplace and made it an object of focus. And that is the fact that it's hard to find communication situations and practices that don't use digital communication technologies. Um, I'm old enough to remember a time in which that was a little bit unusual, um, but that is no longer the case. Um, so what we try to do is make digital communications and the ways in which they change how we communicate in terms of the invention or the making of communication and how we distribute communication, um, how we get it out into the world, the kinds of velocities we can attach to messages as they, as they move through personal networks and communication networks. We try and make um, the role of technology an object of focus among other objects of focus in how we teach communication and also in terms of how we research communication. And as communication technologies have become more pervasive and smaller and more ubiquitous in our lives, that area of study has gotten more exciting. My favorite part about my job is that I get to work in a place where, in, where I'm surrounded by incredibly smart people all the time. And most of those people are students. And so the best part of my job is are those moments in which I can slow down and have the opportunity to spend time with students um, learning about who they are and what they're interested in and how I can help them um, grow and develop as students. Those are the best times um, as a faculty member. Um, so the worst times as a faculty member are when I don't have enough time to do those sorts of, sorts of things. But students are fantastic and they're a key part of the talent that um, a university like Michigan State has an abundance.